spams and scams. No, not that kind of spam, but spams and scam emails. They both get incredibly annoying. One of the more frequent calls we get actually here at My Computer Works is help me with all of this junk email in my inbox. And I hear it. We all get that type of stuff. We all suffer from those junk emails. Uh, they come into my inbox as well from time to time. So don't think that it's just me. However, I would like to help you understand how to not only lower or even possibly delete or eliminate those junk emails you're getting. I also want to help you understand why you're getting them. Because again, like I said, I get them. Everyone gets them. Pretty much everybody in today's world gets them. And for simplicity in today's video, uh, you know, there's a lot of different types. There's obviously shopping scams. Um, uh, there's a, like, you know, spam just spam that you get. There's obviously like the ones that are subscribed to. We're just gonna go ahead and lump them all into what we're gonna call junk emails to make it easy, okay? So we're gonna talk today about why you're getting those junk emails and then how to possibly stop or slow down some of that stuff because uh, I get it, the inbox will fill up fast and it gets very irritating, very hard to manage all that. And uh, it makes it hard to find the things that you want in the email. And, uh, and, and so it, it really makes things difficult. So, uh, and again, junk emails, basically emails that nobody needs or uh, that you don't want to be getting things like uh, scams or again, uh, some of those ridiculous advertisements or promotional emails. We get a lot of those. Okay. So let's talk about where are these emails coming from? Okay. Uh, because you may notice that over time you get more and more in your email. Like maybe you used to get way you know, way less frequently you would receive these or you would get way less emails, junk emails, and now all of a sudden you're getting a lot more, okay? Um, that it, maybe you notice a spike, okay? That is normal. This, not, this might not be your imagination. This might actually be happening. This does occur and I'll explain why. So we have to remember that as we use our computers or as we go online and do things, we sign up for a lot of different online services, a lot of different online accounts. Uh, even when we make purchases online or uh, sign up for a service or something like that, a lot of times we opt into text message and email messages and we don't realize all the time that we're doing that. It's included uh, in the setup or, you know, maybe even in the terms of service and who honestly takes the time to go through all that. Not everybody does. You know, I try to be as diligent as I can reading through that. But even I've missed uh, opting in, you know, opt in for, for messages and then I have to go unsubscribe or cancel those. So that can be one of the more legitimate ways that we run into or get a lot of these junk emails is that we sign up for things online and we forget uh, that we opted in for, for messaging or email messaging uh, for them to be able to send us stuff. So that we do it. Uh, sometimes we hack ourselves on this one or we, uh, we cause the issue ourselves and we don't even realize it. Um, so you, nobody can sit there and say, oh, I don't sign up for anything online. Oh, I don't, you, you, most people do, um, even if you don't realize you're doing it. Uh, and sometimes it's not even done on the computer. Sometimes you sign up for things in person and you have to be careful because they will opt you into messages that you're gonna start to receive via email or even text, okay? So that's the first way. A lot of times you're getting these because it's something you know legitimate that you signed up for. Uh, and then maybe even those companies that you shared your email with, they, they share it with other companies or other senders who are going to be sending you these emails. So sometimes it's legitimate. Let's talk about when it's not legitimate because sometimes it is an issue, a security issue or a, what's called a data breach issue. So a data breach we've talked, we've talked about in past videos is when Hackers get inside of a company's supercomputers or their, da their data centers where they store our data as the users and then they take that data and uh, a lot of times they get emails. So when they get these emails, the hackers, they don't like to keep it to themselves. Don't think that they just, uh, they just keep it for themselves. They don't. What they're going to do is they're going to either sell it or share it online and sometimes they share it in not the greatest of places. They may share it in online hacker forums. Uh, or other scamming forums where they, where they know that uh, these people will, will start trying to send you things, uh, kind of spread it out there, and then they're attacking you and other people are attacking you with phishing emails or other scam emails, okay? So that's the other place that it can come from. It's not necessarily your fault. Uh, you know, we talked about maybe you signed up for things 
that would be our fault again you know we do it all the time we sign up for grocery store things we sign up for um, again services for our home uh, for our life our phone different things always signing up for stuff that is just life now here in 2020 uh to 2024 you know it's basically started when the internet got really popular but over time it's just gotten worse and worse we have more and more accounts that we sign up for uh so so sometimes it's a legitimate that way and then sometimes it's not legitimate we have to sign up for all these accounts we have to give all this data to all of these companies and hope that they keep it safe and as i've mentioned in past videos that is not always the case they do not always keep our data safe sometimes they have a data breach they just can't they just can't keep it safe all the time and so somebody gets in they get your email amongst a list of other emails they spread this information around and now boom you've got a ton of junk emails and scam and spam emails coming in right okay so now we know where it's coming from okay so it could be legitimate it could be not legitimate it could have been happening in a data breach it could have happened from us sharing this information and in the companies sharing it out there or being the ones who are uh, signing us up for these these messages that we're getting opted into okay so now we know where it's coming from but what can we do about it let's talk about that because we need to know how we can stop this there are some paid email services out there um i know aol and yahoo in particular have like a premium or a plus membership where they boast that they block some of these ads they try to get rid of some of the scam and spam emails and they try to basically just make it so your emails are better more organized things are not uh, uh not all junky i've never used these services so i cannot speak uh, uh you know personal experience however i will see th say this i've seen many clients move over to premium aol or uh yahoo plus i think is the other one and so when they move over they do notice a drop in some of the scam and spam emails or advertisements promotional advertisements that, that they were getting uh, but it's not always the case i will say that i have also noticed that when they move off the floodgates seem to open and a lot of that stuff um at least they report that a lot of that stuff comes back so uh it could could be worth looking into if you have a paid or plus email service but of course that comes with a monthly subscription that's not so fun nobody wants to be paying a monthly subscription just to be using email but of course they need to make money they can't just offer the next level of email experience for free they need to get something out of it too so if you're willing to pay a monthly fee so you don't have to do any of the work some of those paid services out there like aol uh, premium and yahoo plus would be worth looking into if you have those types of emails but not everybody offers that so um so for some of us out there like us gmail users for example we are going to have to do a lot of this ourselves. now google does its best i will say to try and filter and organize your email into categories right so they'll organize it into like inbox promotional uh social media um they have different categories that they use to to try and organize your email but for the most part as far as actually getting these uh this junk and things like that to to stop it's up to us to go in there and and do it manually and so this can be a lot of of clerical work or manual work on our part so what you would want to do is you'd basically want to go in there and start reporting this stuff is junk or spam as you start to do that you can also block the senders right so you can add the person to your blocked email address list and you can uh, you can try to weed them out that way now this is going to be uh slower and and you know not a guaranteed fix over time you may start to uh, just have to do this more and more often they will start to send from other email addresses or you know change the format for the junk that they're sending to you so it is an ongoing battle you're going to kind of constantly be going in there reporting spam and then deleting the messages and blocking the senders not everybody likes to hear that so i always bring up what are called rules you can establish rules for your email um, let's say you're using outlook you can establish for example a rule to move items straight into the trash for you based off of a few key factors such as like subject line or uh, who it's from now i'll give you an example so we could do a rule for example we just had the election uh you know season it was very busy a lot of political emails uh, i had a lot of people calling to try to block and stop political emails so let me use this one for example so we could set a good rule this would be an example of a good rule uh, to set up in your inbox if you wanted to block something so let's say i got a lot of those political emails and i don't want to see those anymore i want them to go straight to the trash 
So uh, a, a, kind of a simple and rudimentary rule here, I would set it anything in the subject line that contains election or like poll, uh, we would want to send straight to trash. Okay. Um, and again, this is a very simple and rudimentary rule, but it's an example of what you can do. You can start to basically set parameters around your email to just start automatically deleting things. And it can get a little complicated. It can be as simple as com or complicated as you want the rule to be. You can see here inside Outlook, there's a ton of options as far as what you want to the parameters of the rule to be. And as you start to set these up, you'll notice that uh, your email is going to, you know, the inbox is going to be not, uh, not, not receiving these items. So like the items that you're specifying that you don't want are going to start to go to trash. Now, you got to be careful when setting these rules. Of course, you want to make sure you set them in a way that the computer is going to understand what you want and don't want. Otherwise, you might start to end up with some deleted items that you don't want deleted. And then, uh, you know, it might not catch things that it's supposed to because the rule wasn't uh, written correctly. So if you're having trouble with junk emails um, and you're getting a ton of them and you want to set up rules in your inbox, reach out to My Computer Works. We'll be happy to help you get some of those set up. Uh, like I said, if you're using Outlook, this can be a great way to start clean to clean up your inbox or filter and set parameters around it. So you're not getting as many uh, junk emails. And then, of course, if you're having trouble blocking, sending, reporting emails as junk or spam, reach out to us as well because we'll be happy to help you out with that. And hopefully over time, uh, we can start to lower the amount of junk emails that you get. So if you enjoyed this video, thank you for joining me today. I had a great time doing it. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like and subscribe down below. And don't forget to share this video. If you haven't already, you can hit the share button down there and share it across your social media platforms. Thank you, everyone, and you have a great day.